Hey everyone, welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. Uh, in this video, I wanted to show you the Photoshop frame tool um, where you can nicely arrange your photos in a document um, to create a presentation for your social media website um, or a presentation really. You can create mood, bo mood boards, collages, etc. This tool is actually quite nice to use. I use it a lot for my photography to lay out my photography. Um, in in my documents so I will first show you uh, the, the, the tool and the properties behind it and how to insert an image and then I will also show you how you can how you could use the um, the tool on an, on an existing image or, or photo so let's get started so here is the actual tool in the toolbar uh, it's this square with the X through it you click on it and then you go to your document and you draw the size of the frame you, you wish to use. Now there are two types of frame. There's the circular frame and now when, when this is selected along the top you'll get this bar as well, this toolbar as well and this is to give you the different options. Uh, the one I put up here is the the circular one and then if I choose the square it'll now create a square one like that and just move them here. Now you can see that in the in the layers panel, it's created its own uh, layers. Now I'm going to click on. Uh, I'm going to highlight one of these. I'm going to click on one on the circular one for now. I'm going to go to Windows and bring up the Windows uh, the Properties dialog box. So here it is here. So now I've selected uh, the the top um, the frame or the circular frame, and here is the uh, the Properties section. You can insert an uh, image by using these drop-down uh, options. You can add a stroke um, uh, to the uh, to the um, uh, frame like this. You can you know choose the color you want to add off the stroke, how big it is, and whether you want inside, in the center, or outside. And another way to insert an image is just simply click and drag it into the into the frame. So I've got some images here. I'm just going to click and drag this into this frame here and just drop it in. Now if I want to uh, move um, the image with the image within the frame, I just double click in the, in the, on the image and then I can move the image, control T to make it bigger, smaller and place it in there. Now if I want to make the frame uh, bigger, I just click on the frame, uh, Command T, Control T, and expand the uh, the frame. Now it's the same again for this one as well. The properties box is here. You can insert an image using these four options. You can add a stroke to it. Uh, let me just add uh, outside, outside the bigger. Maybe add a green one. And again, I'm going to drag another image in there. Now, as you can see, the, the images are bigger than the frame. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, pull out the, the frame by clicking on the frame. And that's it there, like that. That's it, guys. As simple as that, uh, using the, the frame tool. Now, like I said before, you can use the frame tool, or if you know if you come across something like this, if you want to use the frame tool on an existing image, you can easily do that. So I want to fill in these um, circles in the uh, glasses. So I'm going to use the circular frame. Uh, I'm going to click on uh, on the frame tool there, and then go up the top and use circular. Hold down the shift and drag out um, uh, the frame over the first glass here, and just place it. In, uh, in the middle or inside the, the glasses. I said now that's if you know I just want to cover up the, the person in the glasses, the reflection of the person. I'm just going to go back here. I downloaded this image here and I'm just going to put it in here. And there it is. There you can use the arrows to nudge it around a bit. Um, make sure that the frame is not covering up any of the image and then you can also what you can do is use to go to the um, layer section and use the blending modes to uh, blend 
uh, the frame into the image and uh, I just want to do this here a bit move this out a bit I'm gonna command T to make it slightly bigger and then fit it in in the glasses there like that this is just a, a just a quick quirky thing you could do with the frames um, tool I'm just going to right click and duplicate the frame and move the top one to the left there oops sorry the image has come out of the frame I just click and drag it in there Up. there we go select the frame like that that's it guys this, that was just a quick uh, quick use of the uh, frame tool in an image that's how it is guys I hope you got something out of it uh, yeah, it's, a, it's a nice little tool I use to uh, lay out my images for presentations uh, for, for uh, clients um, and for my social media I uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, if you liked the video please give us a thumbs up um, and if you'd like to see more videos coming um, from me please subscribe to my channel hit that uh, bell icon to be notified and again thanks for watching guys